God was here before the Marine Corps. So you can give your heart to Jesus. But your ass belongs to the Corps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Generals gathered in their masses. Just like witches at black masses. Evil minds that plot destruction. Sorcerer of death's construction. Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. Today's a day off for me, so I ain't got no work, but I got work. <laughs> We got things we gotta do on our days off. So a day off really ain't a day off. So what did I choose? Clean the garage. I probably only do it every couple of months. When it gets so bad, you just walk past it or you go into the garage to get a tool and you're just like, <sighs> that was today. Came into the garage, swept it up, moved things around, throw a lot of stuff away. I am sweating like no other. But while I was sweeping, I had an idea. It popped into my head because I was looking over at the rafters up here with a whole bunch of stuff. And right behind me, there's some stuff that I haven't messed with in a very long time. Let's just say it's my Marine Corps boxes, bags, doohickeys, and stuff like that. I'm going to get them down, and I'm going to go through some stuff. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a ride or die, welcome back. You guys know that I'm a Marine. Every day, once a Marine, always a Marine. One, two, three. Even though it was only five years of my life that I was enlisted, when you're a Marine, you take that with you everywhere that you go. I thought I'd take you guys down memory lane and pull down a couple of my bags and go through them and just see what's in it. Who knows? Let's see how it goes. <laughs> So to start things off, anytime I see anything that has an Eagle Globe and Anchor, anything has to do with USMC, or I see a Marine Corps flag, or I see camis, it reminds me of all my brothers, fellow Marines. Our brotherhood is so strong, I don't think they actually know I think about them every single day of my life. So this is really interesting, because when I pull this down right now, and I'm touching the bag and the box, I can already smell the barracks. The barracks is a place where Marines sleep. It's weird that this dust is over, what, 15? years old or maybe more and I can still smell the barracks with these bags so it's first bag now these are the old school camis because nowadays in the Marine Corps they're called digis which has a digital like camouflage when I went in in 2000 they had the old school camouflage like this not pants they're called trousers because we rename everything in the Marine Corps <sighs> says Pasquale right there. Here's another trousers, but these ones are different because you can't really wear woodland or green camouflage when you're in a desert and you'll stand out like a sore thumb. So when we went overseas in 2003, what do you call them, these old school deserts. This is not called a shirt or a top or a jacket. This is called a blouse. Yes, Marines wear blouse. You see, we have name tape, old school. And if you see over here, got Pasquale right there. But what's really funny is that when I got out of the Marine Corps, I was a sergeant of Marines. And these camis are so old that they don't even have sergeant chevrons. It has corporal chevrons. So it's like, I hadn't even been promoted. We have our name on the front, right? We have Marines all over the place, but then the Marine Corps still makes us put Pasquale right there. Some of the things in the Marine Corps don't really make sense. What side was that private file? Sir, right side, sir! Huh, I don't want to say that word. They're very uh, particular. All I learned from it is that how you show attention to detail. This right here is when I was uh, deployed. This was on my Kevlar, so on my helmet. I got my name, of course, because you don't want to you don't want to lose it. It's a lot of times, a lot of guys won't have that much faith, but when you go to war and things are on the line, you find some type of faith no matter what it is. This right here would be a sea bag. You get two of these everywhere that you go. You fill them up with every single thing that you have in your life. You better be able to fit all of your life in two sea bags. It's funny we spray paint the bottom, so when you stack maybe 100 sea bags together, you could find which one was yours. See it. Ah. Portable shaver, if you didn't have shaving cream, <laughs> and a razor. Marines are always clean shaving. A little opposite of what I am today. Okay, this is not a hat, a cap, or anything like that. We call this a cover. A cover goes on your head, or AKA your grape. So you'll see the eagle of an anchor right there. This is the new print that Marines wear nowadays. 
dress shoes why I kept one who knows why you just wear it again the biggest clothespin that you'll ever see in your whole entire world we use this to uh, clip my laundry in boot camp I don't know why I still have it these are all books for my school because I was in calm I bet you all these books they're all irrelevant now because the technology is probably so much more advanced of course Marine Corps flag, gotta have that anywhere you go. So remember I was talking about digital camis? This would be desert digital. See how it's different? Of course, on the back pocket, it has my name. Yet my other sea bag, a boot. Now the Marine Corps boots, they have an eagle of an Inca right there, if you could see it. But no laces. I probably use the laces to tie something or jerry-rig something. You don't know what jerry-rig means. It's like MacGyver in it. In this bag, little emblems that we use for our uniform. These are the best things in the entire world. See what these things are is they, when you wear certain uniforms that have a shirt you have to tuck in, these clip to the shirt and then you tuck this into your pants or your trousers and then you connect this end right here to your socks and it keeps your shirt tucked in. That's why if you ever see any Marines walking around, their shirts are tucked in perfectly. It's because they have these shirt stays in that make it so it's so tight. Marines are very particular in how they look in their uniform. This right here is a coin, so a lot of times when when Marines travel, they pick up coins and a lot of souvenirs. I probably haven't touched this in 15 years. This coin I picked up in Pohong, Korea. When we did training with the Rock Marines, the Republic of Korea, South Korea Marines, National Defense Ribbon. So when I first got in, we didn't have these. We were awarded these. Now any Marine that graduates today, they get these right out of boot camp without doing anything. Any Marine knows what the heck these are right here. This right here, I don't know, scissors, clippers, but they're used to take off IPs, AKA Irish pennants. Irish pennants are little strings that come out of your uniform that you have to clip off. So if you look at your shirt or your pants right now, I'm sure you can see on the seam, there may be a little thread sticking out, even as small as millimeters, but in the Marine Corps, that's a no-go. Sir, no, sir! Never have Irish pennants. Before YouTube, in order to watch motivational stuff or to get instruction on workouts and how to do things, you know what your boy had to do? We had to buy VHSs. So this VHS is Ronnie Coleman, Mr. Olympia, and it's a workout video. I think we had to I had to watch this on a VCR to you know to learn certain workouts. We couldn't just Google it, Lee, and this is how I learned how to work out. There wasn't a tutorial on YouTube because it was before YouTube. These are the rosaries that I took with me when I was deployed. This one is from my uncle Afrin, who was a command master chief in the Navy before I got deployed. He gave me this one. It's just nice that my uncle gave me his rosary before I deployed. It's crazy going through this stuff. It's like a little time capsule. It brings back just crazy memories. I remember I'd be deployed and I'd be using that rosary all the time. It's crazy. It's a poster. Yeah, I'm a wrestler first before I was a Marine. You just didn't want to lose to him because he beat you twice before. You'll never win that way. I had this poster in my barracks room. Once you've wrestled, everything else in life is easier. So wrestling made the Marine Corps easier. Marine Corps made life easier. And so here's my trouser belt. You see this tab on here? When I became a corporal, they implemented a program called McMap or Marine Corps Martial Arts Program. I was of the first graduating instructor class in Okinawa, Japan, like in 2001 or something like that. Now this right here has got to be probably the most treasured belonging I have in all my stuff. I'm a creator, I vlog, I do this. Technically, not posting. But technically, I've probably been vlogging since 1999. My first duty station before was Okinawa, Japan. I spent all the money I ever saved while I was in the Marine Corps and boot camp, and I bought a camera. <laughs> this camera is the one that I bought. It's a Canon ZR10. It records mini DVs, digital video camera. It was so cool because back in the day, they didn't have one of these. It had a little selfie thing back in the day. Damn! Damn! 1999. I recorded everything. I know what's in this bag now. I have a little bag with plenty, plenty, plenty of videotapes. I was the Marine who had a video camera everywhere, recorded everything. We didn't have a platform to post it or upload it. So I have this lost crazy footage. All my Marine homies deployed, messing around when we're on the weekends. I don't think you know how excited I get seeing this because I gotta somehow convert this to digital and you already know what I'm gonna do with it. Just wait till you see the footage that I have of Moraldo. I got some dirt on him from here. 
so now that I actually like look back, being a creator for quite some time, I just forgot about it. Life puts you through situations that you start worrying about certain things more than other things. I can't believe that I have my old video camera. Like I could wonder what's on it. This was a little bit different than what I normally do. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for when I put those mini DVs on digital. Hope you enjoy the time capsule, because I did. Just want to let all my brothers know. I love them. I think about them all the time. If you ever need me, I got you. Yut! I had no hair